An organizational culture has a crucial role in creating a favorable environment in which an anti-bribery program will be implemented and managed successfully. Conducting an effective evaluation of the organization's culture, strategy, objectives, and procedures could help improve and streamline approaches to the anti-bribery management system. If organizations are willing to recognize that bribery is a problem of sustainability, they should aim to create an organizational culture and a set of behaviors that will reduce the risk of receiving and giving bribes. In private companies, it's much more easy to develop organizational culture than in public companies. In public companies, top management is changed at least once every four years. After the elections, a new management team is installed, new employees, people belonging to another political party. You can see the latest results of uh, ISO survey for 2017. Uh, the surveys cover 10 management system standards. Of course, ISO 37001 is not in this survey because uh, Yes, it's a very new standard, uh, was launched in October uh, 2016 and uh, implementing and certification process uh, takes time. But I am very curious to find if this standard will be in top 10 certified standards worldwide, maybe in 10 years from now on. What do you think? Uh, take it into, into consideration that ISO 37001 was the most, uh, I don't know, uh, disputed standard and the uh, market uh, clients want to uh, implement the requirements of the standards. Do you think we will have this standard in the top 10 standards in 10 years. I'm speaking from my point of view because in Romania we saw this. We have just a few companies certified according to ISO 37001. One of them was certified uh, a few months ago by uh, ACB. It's one of the biggest uh, companies in the security field. But no public institution certified according to this standard in Romania at this moment. We will see. What do we have in addition to the company's internal framework? We have ISO 37001 standard and we have legislation. Legislation before standard was released. We will go further and talk about legislation and ISO 37001 anti-bribery management system. The fact that there is this legislation condemning corruption in all countries is a certainty. All states have already implemented anti-bribery laws. All states have enacted anti-bribery laws with heavy fines. For example, in most countries, corruptions and bribery acts are covered by the criminal code. Romania is at the top of the list, not because uh, we are uh, having uh, a leading position in the fighting against uh, corruption, just because it's my country. <laughs> I do not go into details uh, to speak about the anti-bribery legislation, but just wanted to emphasize its existence in all the country uh, of the world, not uh, just in Europe, because uh, the data are only for, uh, for 
for Europe? Uh, in Romania, a key role in guiding the prospects for deadening and threatening the corruption phenomenon is played by the National Anti-Corruption Strategy for 2016-2020. Yes, I know, sounds very good. Yes. <laughs> National Anti-Corruption Strategy. The strategic intervention in terms of anti-corruption has a tripartite nature prevention, education, and combat. As you can see, education plays an important role in implementing the strategy. Public institutions have allocated substantial uh, funds to implement the strategy's objectives. As you know, all states impose serious penalties on the bribe of this includes confiscation of the benefits of the bribery, substantial fines, and prison terms. Some also provide penalties for corporates. In Germany, Italy, Spain, and the UK, bridging companies can be banned from public contracting. Other potential penalties include the driver of public subsidies or funding. Disqualification from carrying out the business in which the driver of the who driver of licenses, job supervision, and education. According to the eyes of 37 and 1 uh, standard, bribery is a widespread phenomenon. It raises serious social, moral, economic, and potential concerns, undermines good governance, hinders development stops operation. However, the law alone is not sufficient to solve private problems. I do not intend to read the clauses uh, of ISO 37001 standard. I just want to provide you some information related to the clause by the leader. A management system cannot be implemented without top management involved. Top management leadership and commitment are crucial for implementing ISO 37 standard. Uh, as you can know, uh, the government body should demonstrate leadership uh, for approving anti-bribery management strategies, uh, ensuring that the organizational, organization strategy and anti-bribery policy and, uh, are aligned and I want to uh, move on to these requirements. Ensuring that the adequate and appropriate resources are allocated and assigned. Training, according to ISO 37001 standard, close 7.3, awarenesses and training, the company shall provide appropriate anti-bribery awarenesses and training to personnel to understand the bribery risk, the anti-bribery policy, and necessary preventive and reporting action they need to take in relation to any bribery risk or suspected activity. We at LPM CERT have been organized many training sessions related to this topic, ISO 37001, anti-bribery management system, uh, lead auditors, lead implementers, open training sessions, and in-house training sessions as well. Our conclusion is that ISO 37001 requirements to train all employees in a company. With professional training programs adapted to the role of personnel, we can say that it's necessary to provide training to all employees of the company. Uh, I am sure that you are very experienced auditors, very experienced consultants. Um, in other management standards, ISO 90001, ISO 40001, and so on, you do not train all the organization, but an ISO 37001 anti-bribery management system all the personnel must be informed about 
about standard requirements, about the policy. Yes, you can say that the auditor assures that the policy is known by the whole personnel, by signing, by, uh, I don't know, is uh, on the walls of the, uh, the company. But is he not that? Going further, we will discuss about uh, about some requirements uh, of ISO 37 uh, standard uh, leadership. I am sure that you are very uh, say uh, you are auditors uh, you feel the leadership in the company we are going to discuss about it. we will move on and we will uh, stop here. What do we have until now? ISO 37 and 1, standard requirements and legislation. Do we have a successful implementation until now? Yes, we can say that. Because uh, we can have system certified, we can, we can have system implemented, but is enough? What do you think is going wrong if an anti-bribery management system is not working properly? I can tell you that even a certified management system, uh, ISO uh, 37001 management system uh, certified, is not working. You can believe me or not. But certified systems, I think you agree with me, can be a lot. Implemented systems can be a lot. It's not the same thing like an ISO 9001 management system. What do you think? If you agree with me, the key factor is organizational culture. Organizational culture encompasses values and behaviors that contribute to the unique social and psychological environment of an organization. According to Middle, we have this uh, definition uh, from Wikipedia. According to me, the middle organizational culture represents the collective values, benefits, and principles of organizational members. Organizational culture is the behavior of human who are part of organization and the meaning that the people react to their actions. Culture includes the organization values, visions, Norms, working language, systems, symbol, beliefs, and habits. It is also the pattern of such collective behaviors and assumptions that are taught to the new organizational members as a way of perceiving and even thinking and feeling. Organizational culture affects the way people and groups interact with each other with clients and with stakeholders. In Romania, communism, the 
shut down 29 years ago. Romanian people learn during communism uh, how to solve everyday problems. Problems occurring in everyday life. Problem solving involves, in most cases, bribes. To offer a bribe to solve a problem. In ex-communist countries, people must learn how to change their behavior, how to change their values, beliefs, and principles. I know that it's a very difficult process. It takes a long time, but we have to do all the necessary efforts to make this change. Nowadays, in my country's values are changing. Young generations have different values and principles. They are our hope. Clemens and Randall suggest that organizational cultures, culture can be viewed as corporate personality. They define it as it consisting of values, beliefs, and norms which influence the behavior of people as members of an organization. Business leaders believe a strong organizational culture is critical to success. Yet, culture trends to feel like some magic force that is needed to be controlled. We have here some characteristics that capture the essence of organizational culture in an organization. Solidarity. High solidarity means that people can work well together <coughs> towards common goals, even when they have personal disputes or conflicts. The organizational benefits of solidarity in a business community are many. Solidarity generates a high degree of strategic focus, swift response to competitive threats, and intolerance of poor performance. The next one is commitment. High performing culture maximizes the commitment. Purpose and potential felt by its people and minimize the emotional pressure, economic pressure, and energy. This is known as creating total motivation. Motivation, when you are motivated by the work itself. You can work because you enjoy it. A teacher enjoys the core activities of teaching, creating the lesson plans, Grading test or problem solving, solving how to break through to each step. Team orientation. Work activities are organized around teams rather than individuals. When an effective team are in place, the collective product is greater than the sum of the individual. Looking to our pictures, what we have, what we add to this picture, organizational culture. In addition with ISO 3701 standard and legislation. I know that in West Europe, uh, maybe in America and other states, Bribery phenomenon, it's not uh, black in Romania. We are we having bribery phenomenon and we have to fight against this phenomenon. We will have to find to develop organizational culture. 
Organizational culture, in my opinion, is the key element that facilitates the implementation of an anti-bribery management system. It is possible to implement an anti-bribery management system in a company, or maybe a public institution, whose manager is being investigated for corruption? Yes, certainly, we can. Maybe we can certify that system, but it's normal? What organizational culture do we have in that company? It's not about ISO 9001 system management. It's about anti-bribery management system. I am very happy to see that private companies are implementing and certifying anti-bribery management systems. I'm very happy because I know that their employees will not offer bribe to the public institutions. I'm speaking from my point of view, situations in uh, ex-communist countries in East Europe. In my country, as I told you, I noticed, I noticed a very low interest in implementing and certifying anti-bribery management system in public companies. Even in these situations, it's not a problem if private companies will implement the anti-bribery management system. Uh, I am sure that the phenomenon will be reduced. Additionally, we have anti-bribery management system standard from uh, 2017 uh, manifestations from Romania. At that time, our government tried to legalize uh, corruption. Eggs, uh, yes, Acts of bribery, uh, in which some um, less than 43,000 euros uh, will uh, not be considered crimes. Only if you uh, offer bribe and you have acts of corruption uh, above this, this level. from Romania got on the streets and fight against that government ordinance. And the government Prime Minister put his resignation and the law didn't 